data types. This I am today I will teach you about the basic data types. One is the number, another okay. is the string, okay, another list, then tuple, then dictionary. Number is again subdivided into integer, then flow, and then complex. Okay. Let me write this. Yes. Please write this. Please. Now see better. Integer means what? Whole number. Right, it can be suppose 52, it can be minus 52, 30, minus 32. Right, yes, right. Float means what? This is for data type, is for your decimal number. Just like 52.56 minus 52.62 like this. So for okay. integer, we are writing it what? In. 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 Data type is what? In. Int data type. Is this clear? Yes. Okay. Complex yes. is a little bit difficult for your level. Complex means, suppose if I have taken 5 plus 3i. I, wherever the i is there, that is your complex one. This thing I will not teach you because this is a little bit higher because you don't know about the complex one. That's fine. Okay. Now, string. So wherever I will use the whole numbers, before that, I have to use the data type what in. Wherever I will use decimal numbers, I will use the data type what flow. Okay. Yeah. Is this clear, Bita? Yeah. Now, think. What is string? Whatever we are writing in double inverted quotes or single inverted quotes, that comes under the category of string. Suppose if I have written, enter the number. Okay, double inverted quotes. This is also a form of a word string. Whatever thing you will write, that screen, the output, the processor will display the same thing as it is. It will not change. I will show you the demo. Okay. Just like, just like if you want it. Here, suppose if I am writing, A is what? This thing I have taught you, A is your variable. Okay. Right? If I'm writing integer number, so what I said, first I have to write int data type. Okay? okay. Then I am giving the input of this number because of that reason, I will give input as a keyword. Okay. Then in the string, I am writing enter the number. Okay. Whatever you will open, you have to close those, those things. If inverted code is open, you have to close the inverted code. If your brackets are open, you have to close the brackets also. Then okay. you can see, I have written enter the number as it is, it has been displayed out. And okay. though I have given you a word, give the input. But that okay. input should be what? Whole number, that is your integer. Okay. okay, because of that reason, I have to give what number as a whole number. Suppose if I have given A. Now, 8 has been taken as an input. Understood, Peter? Yes, I just have to write this. Yeah, write it.
रिटेन बच्चे रिटेन बेटा नाम से राइटिंग राइट फर्स्ट या ऑन द लाइट बेटा सॉरी आई कॉल नॉट इट यू आर इन द लाइट the next topic comes here what your list list is written in your square bracket okay suppose if i have written here b is equals to in a square bracket i will write 2 comma 3 comma uh diksha okay comma 63 and then close it as okay. it is and i will say print it b okay okay as it is it will print it you can see here so this yeah. is the things of list just like for shopping list mama is making that yeah here also if we have to do the list you have got to create the list then we will we are using what square bracket Tuple okay. is for the curve bracket. Okay. Okay. Just like here, I have written all the things what in tuple form. Isha, concentrate here, brother. This thing is written in what tuple form. This thing input is written in what tuple form. Yeah. Right. So this is the tuple. dictionary right now i will not teach you because this is still bit difficult for you okay this is written is in a curly braces there will okay. be e if you understand little bit yes there will be p e, colon value okay the way to write the dictionary okay okay we will concentrate on numbers string list and tuple dictionary if i feel that yeah. you are now ready to learn the dictionary then i will teach you dictionary okay okay first concentrate on these basics okay written yes. beta almost right past okay 